Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the first annual CrossFit Open Ooh. Viewer's Choice Award Ceremony. We have a whole bunch of topics we're going to go through tonight. A lot of little awards that we're going to give away. Can you? Speaking of which, I forgot to get the award. Can you bring me the award? Oh, it's right in front of you. Oh, never mind. I, I did bring the award. No, we're not sending wine in here. All right, anyway, we got uh, best open announcer, best drama, most helpful Castro, Castro clue, best open content, most impressive open performance, and best workout. All right, let's bring in our our, our first hope for... <laughs> Let's yeah, bring it. All right, all right, before we bring in our host, let's go, go check out the red carpet outside. Off to you. <laughs> All right, we're here for our red carpet event. We have a lot of people here we're gonna be talking to tonight. Let's start with Allison here. Allison, you look wonderful tonight. I love this outfit. Me and Lydia are actually matching. Where'd you get that sweatshirt? The camp trip. Oh, that is awesome. You can purchase one too if you wanna to match Allison here. Freya, how are you? Oh my gosh, hi. Freya's here tonight. She also looks awesome. I love this. I love this color on you. Thank you. It's from Costco. Awesome. It compliments your eye color beautifully. Thank you. you what are you look lovely as well? Thank you so much. Yeah. What do you? Shoes. Thank you. What do you think was the best open workout? Uh, personally, for me, the first one was the most fun. But then, I don't know. All of them were bad in their own way. If I'm being honest. All right. Well, thank yeah. you. Have a great night. Enjoy thank the you. night. Thank you very much. All right. Let's go over here and talk to Alexis Raptus. Alexis. Oh, hi. It's Alexis herself. What are you wearing tonight? Tear. <laughs> Tear, the best in the game. Best open workout. 24.2. Uh, probably 23, or sorry, 24.3. Um, 24.3. This year? This year. Um, Third one. Uh, 24.3. Best open workout. You mean this year? Three. I gotta say the last one. I feel like it was the most well-rounded. All right, we're here with Travis <laughs> Mayer. You look Let's... absolutely ravishing tonight. Oh, thank you. So I do you. Thank outfit. you. Thank you. Thank you. The gray and black combo. I yeah. love it. Yeah, black on black. Yeah, it's, it's dark night. You can't yep. go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> most impressive open performance in the world. In the world? By anybody? Um, <laughs> man, I have. <laughs> I feel like Grace Walton did a pretty good job. <laughs> Colton Murphy. Um. Me, two years ago. <laughs> like in the gym? Anybody in the whole world. Um, Yonikoski? All right, she got her fellow European. There was a guy at my gym who did really well and beat me, so. All right, the guy at the gym. Uh, I want to say Rebecca Fusle, but just because. I really like Grace Walton's last performance, 24-3. Final one, Rebecca. So fast. Yeah, very fast, very fast. By someone? Anybody in the world. I don't look at anyone else. Oh, man, I don't know. I wasn't watching that. All right, next guy. We got a puppy. I don't know. What would you say was the best open work? I'm biased, and I'm going to say the second one for sure. Not the first? No. A stupid workout. <laughs> <laughs> stupid workout. Ask me about the toilets. Yeah, um, ask me you, about the toilets. You, I heard you, Chris. Yeah. Our toilets, our, toilets? our toilets here have been having uh, issues. We have had the whole line replaced, and then two days later, they have had issues again. And then we got them fixed again, and then we had another two days where they went out. And then we did it one more time, and now we've had the city out, and we're about to have the city out again for the second time, because you know what, ladies and gentlemen, it's happening again right now, and I'm not heavy. So toilets are not in use currently? Uh, they, they kind of are. They, it's just it's a matter of time on who it's going to happen to. So we're waiting to see who okay. that person is. So it's like Russian roulette with a toilet. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we got out here at our red carpet event. We're sending it back to you guys in the studio. What a beautiful night. And now for the hosts of the night, let's bring in our first host, Brandon Dorman. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All of my fans, I appreciate it. Thank you, Chris, for announcing me. Yes, yes, and without further, further ado, <laughs> Savannah the Hour, Max L. Hey! Yes, yes, that's right. All right, we're here, folks. We're here, we're doing it. Thanks oh, for having we, us. We couldn't be more excited this first annual CrossFit Open Awards. Max, what say you? It's a it's a big time event. It's, it's a big the honor. Most important day of my life. <laughs> uh, yep. Here we go. So let's kick it off, shall we, boys? Yeah, let's that's do what it. we're here for. All right. The first award will be best open announcer. I'm going to hand this to you. But first, what were the options? We had Dave Castro, Seth Frickin' Rollins, 
and Jocko Willem. Those are also called nominees. Nominees. Yes. Yes. I'm going to open this. I'm going to open this up. This hey. uh, was supposed to be sealed, but it wasn't sealed. Well, so act like it was. Somebody might know. I was doing my best not to lick it where there's a bunch of spit on no, it. No, we did lick it. them, and they just these All envelopes. Right. Brandon, so. I'm going to open this, and then you're going to do the announcement. Yeah. Okay. Right. And the winner is Dave Castro. Welcome to the Open. Welcome to the 2024 CrossFit Games season. 63%. Yeah, let's look. So different than most award shows, we're actually going to show you what the votes look like. Yeah, so 63% of the vote was to Dave Castro, 26 to Seth Rollins, and then 11% to Jocko Willing. I've got to be honest. I think that that is right. I agree with this pick. I think Dave did a better job. And it's like the nostalgia of having Dave back in the arena it was kind of goofy with the mushrooms, I think, but it still is like just really cool to have him back, and it reminded me of 2017 or yeah. 2018. But the, go ahead. I'm going to maybe potentially create some enemies here. Oh, this no. is, goes against my how to win friends and influence people <laughs> uh, advice, but I got to go with Jocko Willing. What? No. Man, I, Are you kidding me? He, well, he was the only one that like wrote the announcement on the board and just logically walk through the actual workout. Dave Castro's announcement <laughs> no, 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 was no. like trying to solve. Oh, he's just doing yeah. circles. So I was like, hold on, what the hell are we doing here? That's the <laughs> point though. It's like there's still a, Castro puts a mystery out that's still a mystery after he announces it. <laughs> yeah. That is what's fun about it. We're building drama. <laughs> yeah, like we're we're going, unknown and unknowable. We're going for clarity. The Who gives a shit about clarity? You can read it later when you download uh, the standards. Yeah. Well, I did like seeing his smile. All right, here. If that's there. the case, just go ahead and read off all the awards. No drama. <laughs> yeah. Just go ahead and say who won. <laughs> I'm going to pick my own announcements. The, these are the people's choice awards. You guys suck with all your right, votes. All right. Bring it back. Bring all it right, back. Sorry, so what do you think about the other guys then? So you picked Jocko. You picked Dave. I yeah. also picked Dave. Uh, what do you think? You guys both picked Dave? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. I think Dave should have done them all. I yeah. agree. I, yeah, I do too, but I think Jocko should have wrote them on the whiteboard for him <laughs> so we could have read no, the damn so workout. Dave, Dave does the announcement, and Jocko's like, okay, here's what it actually means. Here's the actual <laughs> yeah. workout. Yeah, hold on. Let me write this in straight lines know. so you can his see was, the numbers. <laughs> his was corny as hell to me. Yeah. He seemed very forced, like he didn't yeah. want to do it. It's, I don't know. Everything about it was wrong. We should never yeah. do a canned recording ever again it should always be live in the room even if they had brought I agree him in. With that so yeah. that maybe he just couldn't but if he couldn't then do something else yeah well seth rollins i i've become a, a medium fan of wwe which was a shock to me for years <laughs> not i just thought it was like so fake yeah. and no, whatever but now i like appreciate the theatrics I feel like he was set up for failure being in a garage gym with That's no how fans. I, felt. I was like, this dude is literally his job is to move a crowd. And like, you have basically Justin's family hanging right. out on yeah. the side. The energy was kind of low, it yeah. seemed like. Yeah. And that dude, uh, I know you don't watch a lot, but he's always been a good in ring performer. But now he's like really grown on the mic where it's like he's becoming the total package. So to your point, it would have been really cool to see him potentially work a crowd. Yeah. And he didn't really have the opportunity. Like, he led with the joke about it being the 24 point. Rollins or something like that, which I thought was fun and funny, but it just didn't seem like it hit in that environment. So Jason CF Media put out something saying his thoughts on it, and I gave this whole spiel, which which was what I wish would have happened, which was Dave should have, or sorry, Seth should have gave the announcement, and then Mid Seth giving the announcement, Dave should have taken the mic from him, and they should have went head mm, and Seth, good. Then, yeah, yeah, and then they battle, and then they they'd be like, all right, tell you what, after uh, Colton goes. Let's settle it with, we'll do the workout. And then they post that on YouTube. Oh. Then you get more content. Everybody's going to the channel because even though yeah, it's bullshit, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you still want to see who wins. Yeah. That would have been golden. That would have been golden. Like I, yeah, someone like me, me who doesn't really watch WWE, I knew who he was because you've talked about him before yeah. and you're a fan, but I don't know how he or what he looks like when he's actually in the arena. That would have made it exciting. It would have felt the wrestling like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you would have still got Dave doing his thing. And it would have been like, a, hey, you might be the WWE champion, but I'm the Dave Cash. Yeah. And this is my job. Be, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Like it could have played into the actual community. Yeah. yeah. I I mean, I was like half joking before because I couldn't read the open announcement, but I feel like Dave has kind of been the face of the sport. So if you're going to bring him in and give the people what they want, yeah. then like keep the continuity. He should have yeah. at least been involved be the in all White. of them. But maybe he didn't want to be. I don't know. I Like maybe he I, doesn't well, want here's to do the thing. that. Dave, if you don't want to do it, it's not your choice anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. You gotta, the people have spoken. He, he's a sacrificial lamb. We like lamb. your bullshit. Uh, 
<laughs> stuff. Yeah. I like, do think that I, I would be willing to pay for handwriting ed, uh, lessons so that next year they could be more written. Okay, clearly so on there. Definitely what a little you, sloppy. What did you think about Jocko before we? Um, I, I didn't really have any feelings about it, but part of the reason that's is the worst. <laughs> that's the worst. That's what you're not looking no, no, for. I, I agree. And, and I, I felt that same way about the Rollins one too, but I think the reason is, is because as soon as the announcement comes out, I'm already over there. Like what off camera, you guys can't see typing up workouts for our same thing program. happened for the Dave day. And you still like, that's that? true. I actually did watch the whole thing. Yeah. I think it's because again, it was nostalgic for me. It was just like going back in time to when Dave was doing all of them. I would contend that it was because you didn't know what the workout was yet. That is true. <laughs> you watched the whole thing because you were like, hold on, wait, like, what I, are we doing? So yeah, like, I need to know yeah, the movements. Yeah. I guess Jocko's thunder was stolen, um, but whatever. Anyway, so we appreciate Dave for the drama he brings to the uh, to this situation, which leads us to hold our next. No, 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 no. You put that down and give me that. We need to display oh, the, yeah, we yeah, come on, we need Dave. to give him his All prize. Right, and for <laughs> winner of, so for the best open announcement, you, if, if you write it there, we're going to have to rewrite it every time. It's okay. You have, you're have going to cross I didn't it out. I this at Target for nothing. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to rip this jacket. <laughs> and Dave, <laughs> congratulations, my friend. You really proud of him. Best open announcement. We appreciate your contribution to the space. It wouldn't be anything without you. Amen, uh, brother. <laughs> That's cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's move on. Now you can take this back. Yeah. Since yeah. we only, we have one uh, award for, we give you our award and then we take it back because we need it for all of our <laughs> The votes. thought that people would buy this for a real situation <laughs> works perfectly here, but could you imagine being in your school and be like, here, bring it back. <laughs> We're going to give it to Kyle now. <laughs> for racing the name. <laughs> oh, man. I would, I would sneak a Sharpie to the teacher <laughs> so my name would stay on there. Right. All right. And the nominees for best drama were... The Golden Barbell Confusion. We had 24.3 leak, Tia pulling out of the workout, and the deadlift debacle. Mm -hmm. Without further ado, gentlemen. Let's see it. Go ahead and slide it this way. Brandon. You're All not. right. Do you want, are you wanting to read this one? I'll read it. Okay. I'm going to open it for you. You ready? And ladies and gentlemen, the winner of best drama is... 24.3 Leaky Squeaky. Man, these people are right on. Yeah, Give so it up for the leak. Right. Whoever did that, congrats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I don't know what your name is, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but whoever messed that up, send, send me your name. We'll send we're you gonna, the award. We're going to call them the leaker. Yeah, the leaker. Right. Yeah. Deadlifts, 14%. Tia pulling out, 18%. Golden Barbell Confusion, 19%. 24.3%. 49 yeah, percent that's a vote. dominant victory that is 24.3 leak you crushed it yeah. what are your thoughts on I, this my initial thoughts when it came out is like how does this happen every single year <laughs> it's been like three or four years that, that that has happened yeah so i still don't know was it published on youtube is that yeah. what happened okay it hold on like, i think though it was a error with daylight savings that's oh, the main theory right that's now. what it was. Okay. yeah it was right at two o'clock our time so i think it was one hour earlier uh, and for that one if i made that mistake i mean you make a mistake it sucks but that one's just like oh why did it have to happen to me to make that one? Because like, you can put yourself yeah. in that person's shoes. Do you think it's just one person's responsibility, or there if was that like, is what happened? Yeah, yeah. someone like you know, one person in charge of the website, at, or at, at one point is uploading the video, and they get to decide. Mm. They had a team of people doing that job. Then I would say they need to put the resources <laughs> better. Yeah, we got yeah, other things enough. to worry about. So, but what you're saying is, is that if you posted this, let's say on Saturday the week before, before yeah. daylight savings, yeah. you'd put 3 p.m. and then it changed. Because that could be. I don't know yeah. for sure, but that's yeah. the... I yeah. mean, if you do that sometimes with, like, Google Calendar, if you don't switch it I feel it like to, Google would have been ahead of that. That's what... So, you know? Yeah. No, I think what happened was they put it at 2 p.m., and then it pushed forward, and it auto-shifted in YouTube, mm. but they thought it wasn't going to auto-shift. Mm. There also is possible that the person that was in charge was in one of the states that doesn't do daylight savings, so they oh, thought... they're in Arizona. Yeah, Arizona, okay. maybe. Because I know there's a lot of people in Colorado, but they do daylight savings in Colorado. I think it's only Arizona. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Either I way. do think if we're going to have a sport of unknown and unknowable that we should probably I feel like, those uh, But it also makes me think that Why wouldn't you just, why would you schedule that? Why wouldn't you just do it live? Yeah, do it like, fuck yeah. it, we're doing it live. <laughs> <laughs> somebody definitely, mean, means somebody definitely had the workouts way ahead of time. Yeah, What are your sure. thoughts on the other ones? Yeah, let's go through the other ones real quick. Golden Who was barbell, second place? Uh, Golden, Golden Barbell, barbell. Confusion. Yeah, that was a yeah. That was like a yeah. That was this should be a, the most unfortunate trauma. Yeah. I just had no idea what was going on. Yeah, and I feel like it looked 
to me, it was one of those things where like you have this opportunity to kickstart the season with something cool. And maybe it's the only time that maybe other people are like watching because maybe somebody's doing their first open. Yeah. And that first workout was like watching a training session and nobody said anything the about it. Was yeah. yeah. It's like should, the announcers weren't in it. Like all of that. The first, <clears throat> this might be someone's first open. Like you said, like set the tone, set the scene. Yeah. What the hell was that? Yeah. Sorry. I didn't like that. I don't want to shit on anyone. Cause I know how hard it is. And it was like a people, good idea. They just didn't drive it to the, Yeah, you have line. to execute that. And yeah. I think that their marketing team did a poor job of explaining what they were going to do ahead of time. For yeah. sure. So like, for example, we had people that reached out to us in our online program saying, Oh, they already released the workout as nasty girls. It was the day before, yes. right? When Alexis yeah. and all them were doing it. Yeah. And I was like, no, the, the workout comes out tomorrow. This is part of their, you know, whatever the initiative that they had. But even to find that, I had to go to the website. I had to look. There was a tiny little and article on it. And that's people who it. are probably in the sport. Exactly. And they were confused. So think about the new person. They're, right. They're, or, or if, God forbid, you know, you're trying to spread the, the gospel at your Globo <laughs> gym. And you finally got Ricky to, you know, think about it. And he tunes in and he's confused. It's yeah. like, well, you lost Ricky. And yeah, Ricky's I, gone. <laughs> I, I think, and again, I don't want to just like bash him the whole time. But the other problem I have with it is that then they did three hard Metcons in a 24-hour period when the whole point of the sport is like this kind of like short, intense piece. That's what Glassman always talked about. You don't need to be in the gym for four hours a day. You just need this one session. But now it's like, well, they're doing three sessions and then all these people around the world are probably doing it with them, yeah. which I, I don't think is good training. Yeah. I feel they should have maybe just done the first open announcement and then if they wanted to do some extra golden barbell content to keep the visibility on it or whatever, then do those workouts afterwards, but explain it. Cause I just, I really had no idea what was going on. Yeah. Personally, right. uh, right. third place, <laughs> Tia, Tia pulling out at 18%. I didn't think that was really that yeah, drama. I think we were just looking for yeah. something to put. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe dramatic because, uh, it's her first year back in the games and people are, you know, wondering if she'll be able to compete. And yeah. it's the first time that there's well, ever really been the any vulnerability. Everyone, oh, she's hurt or she's not hurt. No, and pe people were defending or not defending. And then she was hurt. Yeah. I think part of it, too, is the other ladies that have pulled out of the season. People probably initially thought, oh, no, maybe she's pulling out the season when yeah. in reality she just didn't want to risk herself in the workout. Yeah. She didn't do muscle ups, right? I don't know. I think she didn't. Yeah, I don't, Somebody told me that. I don't think she finished. Yeah. I but know she didn't finish, but I don't know if she did any muscle yeah. ups. But probably smart on her part. If yeah. her goal is to make it back to the game, she knows, hey, look, yeah. I already got in the quarterfinals. Now I just need to get my wrist yeah. rip, you know, ready for that. Yeah. Just All right. To, all right. Well, there you go. <laughs> the leaker. All right. The leaker. Yeah. Leaker McSqueaker. Well right. done, my friend. Thank you for sharing the information with the whole community. Yep. And now every award show would not be a good award show without – uh, a bullshit award, one that you, you know, this is the bathroom break award right here, <laughs> potentially. We'll see. It's what the, would the equivalent of that be like at the Oscars? I don't know. It's like, like best, best, best animated short supporting actor. Like, <laughs> no thanks. Uh, but that person is probably makes their life. Yeah. I mean, good for them. Yeah. But so that's this when person, we're all going pee. <laughs> okay. Um, most helpful Castro clue. Okay. And the nominees. Wait, I don't yeah, need yeah, to look. Yeah. 24.1. 24.2. You have to list out yeah. what the actual clue was. I don't know. Oh, remember. yeah. So we had the mushroom. Uh huh. Yeah. And then we had the second one was the, the, his dog eating the bone, or was that the third one? That was one? the third one. That was the third one. And the yeah. second one, crap. <laughs> Come on, Chris, you had one job. Uh, does it say on here? No, it doesn't say on here. <laughs> All right, let's go All ahead. Right, well, Ladies the winner and gentlemen, the winner is, is the dog eating the bone. Caleb Beaver wouldn't have done this to y'all. 72% of the vote coming in with the dog eating the bone. What was the second? 14% coming with the first clue, which was the mushroom. And then 242 was the last, which, Chris, are you going to pull up what the 24 I'll put it on the clue? screen for the viewers, yeah, but why, why we are you doing that? I can't, we, we can't even comment on I got to say, the mushroom, I know we're going back to that first award, but it made no sense to me. Like, there was literally <laughs> none. That sense? is true. There, there's no connection. <laughs> yeah. the he yeah. started drawing the mushroom on the board, and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I voted for the mushroom. You know why I voted for the mushroom? Because I thought that the way he wrote it on the board was the equivalent of if I was on mushrooms trying to write <laughs> it on the board. Figure it out. So maybe I was like, oh, maybe yeah. that's why he like drew the mushrooms on it and made it like a psychedelic announcement. It was yeah. the, what made yeah. sense to my brain. Speaking of psychedelic, there was like a dude in the crowd when that was being announced wearing like some Beetlejuice pants. Really? Yeah. I just saw Beetlejuice as a musical. It's pretty good. Oh, nice. Yeah. Here in Atlanta? Anyways. Yeah, it was oh, in nice. Atlanta. Twenty-four point three was the dog eating the bone. Why Makes do, sense. Yeah. Why do you chicken winging? 
Oh. My chicken wing on your muscle up. Yeah, chicken wing and then just like getting uh. crushed maybe. I was thinking that he crushed the leg bones and yeah. people's legs got wrecked. There was like some oh. context That's to that. That's the way clip. I thought about it. Yeah. yeah. I still contend. But both of them. Chick- but it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a chicken wing. It was a drumstick. So is that the up? Is that their leg or their arm? <laughs> That's the oh. leg, right? The drumstick's the leg. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they fly. So the wings would be... Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a dead T Rex. When y'all eat wings. chicken wings, they do, you, can't fly. do you eat the whole? Like, do you go to town? The whole thing. You yeah, you clear all the sinew and like yeah, you got to get everything. Do really? You, if you have a chicken wing that's a drumstick, do you go around the drumstick and suck the meat off the bone? No, have you ever seen I don't. That? You go from the side. I prefer not to do the whole. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> like you have a drumstick. Sometimes people will it like this is the part you hold and it yeah. comes out like a drumstick yeah. and they'll wrap their mouth around it and pull the meat off Dude, the bone. This the first, way. okay. So like uh, the whole, the whole our thing coach, Marco, thing. who lives in Taiwan, Shout out, Marco. Come back. Come visit us. We went out, out to Marco. Wings, and this dude did that, and I had never seen it. And he's he just, just goes, I'm like, man, you can't make direct eye contact with me while this <laughs> is happening. Just, I'm still talking to him. He's a fucker. He just pulls it out, and it's clean as a whistle. I was like, man, this dude. No, I, I go around it, but I do like getting the tips. Like, especially if it's a little crispy on the end. You gotta but not only the, the tips. Oh, the whole thing. The whole <laughs> thing. Not just the tips. Yes, it's it's uh, fantastic. Are we done with this award? Cash or clue? I will say. Uh, we I need do, to give oh, the announcement. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I will yes, say yes. while I'm writing this down, it was 24.3, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. We don't want to be yeah. rude. There you go. Who, um, Why do you keep hand sliding it like <laughs> you can't reach I for this can't suit? Rip my suit open. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hey, take 24.3. You're the best. It's getting my hot friend. in here. Yeah. Uh, no, get out. You gotta keep keep, keep it on. Keep, keep your attire on. on. We gotta keep our attire okay, okay. on. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say we have the best. Uh, analysis, analysis. I can't speak Anal- today. Oh, dude. analysis of a Dave Castro clue video ever made. It was Evan. a mushroom, what right? Year or no, was it was a flower. It was a flower. I oh, will maybe link it my below. God, but our coach yeah. at the time, Evan Pycon. Shout out, Evan. He did an analysis of that clue, and I don't think yeah. I've laughed as hard yeah. at anything. Yeah, um, we that was a good moment, yeah, and we really good. got a lot of people thinking yeah. that we. Uh, or yeah, a lot of people clicked to thinking like yeah. they're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> <you'll> <laughs> they, see. They that was something. when they realized that we're uh, we balance our seriousness <laughs> with a bunch of ridiculousness. Speaking of content, our next award is for best open content. Oh, let, let, me oh, let me announce yeah. one of these. Let me announce one of these. You're gonna take it. You want to do the nominees? Yeah, give me. You want to do the nominees? Yeah, yeah. Slide it over, to <laughs> dude. Crazy. <you're> the- <laughs> Hold on, give me, give me the. Yep. There I mean, go. you could have just used that. <laughs> no. Oh, you're right. <laughs> no, no, it, no. no I need the phone. Oh, fine, fine. You do that, and I'll do this. Why do you need the phone? And ladies and gentlemen, up next we have the best open content from 2024. Your choices are CrossFit HQ, Mayhem, Savon, and Proven. Max El Hodge will have the announcement. Who's it gonna be? Oh, Wait, and this <laughs> year's best open content is Sevon. Forty-seven hey. percent of the vote to Sevon, thirty-one percent to Mayhem, fourteen percent to CrossFit HQ, and eight percent to Proven. And our media guy got fired for not putting us on this <laughs> list. <laughs> <laughs> this is Chris's last video. <laughs> we can't put our own <laughs> ourselves on our own list. I, I voted for ourselves anyway. Did you? No, no, no did you type it in. I'm oh, just I was kidding. Kidding. Oh. Yeah, I, know, DM. I, I yeah. think this is is right again. Yeah. Um, he he does a good job because he just has it's he can keep a conversation going the entire time. He makes it fun. He tells stories. He has cool people on, so yeah. he wins. I was more curious. I wish I could poll the people like who voted on this, that voted for the different places. and What ask, type of content? Yeah, and like why? Like what? why was the proven stuff best for the 8% of people? Or why was HQ's media the best for, like did they want to see the open announcement or they put extra videos out? Like there was so much contextual stuff that I was yeah, curious yeah. about after reading this. Well, let's this. talk about what we think. Yeah, I mean, I will be honest that HQ stuff, I only watched the main live announcement. Same. And... Mayhem's. I, I, clicked, I, I clicked on one of their tips videos, and I felt like it was well after it had been out for a little while, and it was like maybe a thousand views. Yeah, it didn't get a lot of uh, overall views. Sev- Sevon stuff I like, and I thought was I know the uh, Taylor Self thing. I thought brought like some drama, some context. There was a lot of people talking about it. He put up other good scores, so there was a cool opportunity to watch elites and i think that's cool because a lot of people that are elite don't put their videos out because of all the drama that comes out uh mayhem i watched some of their video more to get context as to how other people I, are I doing like the, it um they did the four split <coughs> screen of the yeah, yeah. i thought that was elite. pretty cool 
uh, what was all scaled the scale or foundations? Yeah. Yeah. They basically went through like different tiers of athletes. Elite. And I think that is really cool because yeah. there's so many people doing the open. Like we do have beginners that are doing it and they don't want to see Rich do it. They want to see the beginner do it as well. And so having they the split put that out cool. too, right? Yeah. 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 And, and I thought it, it was really cool. It was very, it's very hard and like us doing it to try to figure out how to make a video with one demo, but also then provide value to all the different groups that are doing it. Like I think our kind of niche or perspective is kind of the people that are trying to qualify, not just like doing and participating in the open. But I think the people that are just doing and participating in the open at that time of the year are looking for stuff. So I thought it was cool that they put some of that stuff out there. I agree. Would you think, do you think that order is correct? Uh, yeah. yeah, I think, I think actually this on. is how I would vote what was the order yeah. again? with these four. Sevy. So Sevon, Mayhem, HQ, Proven. Yeah, I Proven, think that I that watched a little bit of, they had like a podcast type yeah, thing. I think that was the only podcast. thing that I saw from them. There yeah. was no it's video production to it. Yeah. HWPO didn't even put out a video. Nope. Uh, no, they put out something in Post. the open. They freaking clickbaited me. They oh, got yeah, me. Oh, yeah, at the end they put yeah. out that video. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. they said Matt Frazier does 24.3, and I was like, oh, I'm so curious where his fitness is now as a non, like now a couple, three, four years from winning the games. You know, you, you perceive that people are in their peak form all the time, but that falls. So I was curious, and I – Started watching and it was him doing like ten thrusters and I was like, damn it, they yeah. they got me with the clickbait. Yeah. Anyways, Savon, <laughs> this is probably the most important and high prestige it is trophy you're ever gonna receive and actually not receive in your <laughs> life. But we'll <laughs> raise that name real quick. <laughs> yeah. But thank you for putting out content just in the open and, and in the general. whole team. They yeah. got a whole team. Yeah, yeah they, they do a good trip. job. The whole crew. Let's see. The next award is going to go to Brandon. You want to? You're the introducer man now. No, no, no. I want you. To, I just wanted to do one. For no, fun. no. You do too. It was really exciting. I, I don't write, have I, the names. They're in Give there. Me. Just open it. <laughs> oh, okay. No, we got to be professional here. What the hell? Okay, okay. Max, what okay, you, you do? The it. Announcement. Switch it. Yep. Nope. Keep nope. going. And stay tuned. If you're about to click out, remember, <laughs> best workout is coming up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. And our nominees for most impressive open performance: Colton Mertens on 24.1. Rebecca Fusile on 24.3, Jon Koski on 24.3, or Henrik Hapalainen on 24.2. And I'm going to open this professionally, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Got to make them wait for it a little bit. Keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. You want to go off screen and then come back like uh, John Cena did? And the winner for the most impressive performance is Colton Mertens for 24.1. Okay. You know, we talked about this before when we posted these. I said that Colton would, yeah, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going to go against that. That's why I went right into the, the diatribe here. Yeah. Uh, I, that second. So, oh, yeah, yeah sorry. Colton, Colton Mertens, 49%. Rebecca Fusile, 30%. Yoni Koski at 19%. And then Hapalainen at 2%. So, mm. although his performance was really, well, really What were bad. the workouts? Let's talk though. about all Did so, you say the workouts? Well, yeah. Yeah, so 24.1 with Mertens. Uh -huh. And that was the burpee and snatch. Yeah. So, the, the thing that, that was ex in, extremely impressive. And the storyline of his mother passing away beforehand, yeah. I think, is just, like, really cool. Do like, you think that's why he won? If that wasn't part of the actual reality of him having that d the situation to deal with and it was just performance output, you think that's the best? No, I, don't think I, think, the best anyway? I think that um, the 24 You mean the best as in, like, best in our awards, not the best workout, not the best time in the workout. Did he win? He yeah, won. He, yeah won he won by won. a lot. But you're talking about our award, not Yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant, like, the actual best, like, the best physical output. performance that you separated from the whole world. I was curious if... if it's Rebecca's performance by far because she got I, she's the only person in the world to get sub eight. Um, a female going faster on thrusters and bar muscle ups than all of the males too is still impressive. I know that the females have really closed the gap, but still in reality, there's a percentage drop off there, especially with bar muscle ups. And watching the video of how fast she moved, there were very few breaks. It was just unreal yeah. that she can move that fast. Yeah, I agree. I voted for her. And the thruster too was actually pretty substantial at the heavier weight, and it definitely slowed down a lot of elites. The one thing I noticed was, like, she got a lot of flack about her elbows. She has those kind of, like, double-jointed elbows mm -hmm. that turn out, and the, like, overhead position didn't look as optimal. But, I mean, even still, just to do that, even if you were to say, oh, those are partial reps, like, she's pretty much locked out overhead, and it was so fast. There's a definite argument to make about, you know, people locking out and, you know, missing it. But it, I think for people who's never been around people who can't get all the way out, you know, if I had never been around them, if I yeah. wasn't in this gym around some of those people who couldn't do it, and like you could literally go up to them and like yank yeah. on them, and there's and then you're just like literally that's all yeah. they have. I'm not saying that's her, yeah. but I think uh, 
there's a lot of those people out there that it sucks that when you're watching their video, they're going to always have to explain, but they're out there yeah. and, like, and they there's can't a, get to it. Yeah. And in, in person competitions, like I know there's the whole keyboard warrior aspect. I don't, you don't always know like, well, what, what is the person who's putting a negative comments out experience? Have they coached elites or been around elites or competed at all in the sport? Chris, Chris couldn't Chris even take hot. it. <laughs> you don't even have a button yeah, up on, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're I'm, fault. I'm sweating in here. <laughs> Um, but if you go to an in-person competition and you have those type of elbows, you can talk to your judge right. ahead of time and show them your bony lockout, and they allow those to be full completed. You reps. think people will like fake it, be like, and try to hold it, hold it, like, see, <laughs> yeah. I can't do it. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Um, I, I, I don't want to take anything away from anybody, and this is kind of a, a, a joke awards announcement. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, this is serious. Yeah, Colton's thing was impressive to me as a, a human story yeah. like to go through that and then still show up and put out that level of performance was super impressive but also that test was so perfectly designed to be shorter that i think his output at that time seems to me similar to what somebody else 15 or 20 seconds or 30 seconds even slower would be is almost like the same performance even though he crushed the score whereas Rebecca Fusilier's score was an outlier and she's like, there's no like reason for yeah. it. There's no like, okay, well each one of your reps is going to take less time. Cause it's sh like you're shorter, you're lower to the ground. So you don't have to stand up. And those things do matter. Like if you were measuring work output, Hers is probably a little bit higher in twenty four point three than his was in twenty four point one. Also, I think it's a travesty that Hendrik Hoppelainen only got two percent. I know. I know. Again, it's like, all right, well, he's taller, and like, obviously, if you're taller, your output can stay steadier on the rower. But to just maintain, he probably had to have maintained a like a one thirty eight pace the whole time, or maybe like sub one forty if he was sprinting all the other movements. But you're going for twenty straight minutes literally without stopping or yeah. without messing a transition up or probably I didn't watch his video without messing a double under up. I think that is wildly impressive. I guess not as impressive as the other three, but it should at least be noted that I just that's think a badass people, performance. People probably didn't know his score or watch his videos and people kind of saw these other ones. So yeah. Colton's was a big one. Yeah, for sure. All right. So, uh, hand over the thing. Oh, Did you write it on? Yeah. My camera died, uh, but that's probably best. <laughs> All right, D dude, you wrote the wrong freaking name. Who was it? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Colton, <laughs> congratulations. Oh, yeah. Our yeah producer, we're talking about Becca so much. Yeah. <laughs> Our producer here sucks at the People's <laughs> Choice Awards. Hey, by, by, by next year, dude. Woo, hey, guys, beat this thing guys, up. Get the this best workout. This is our first awards ceremony. <laughs> right. Don't uh, take it too seriously. And the moment you've all been waiting on. I am so sweaty. Best workout of the 2024 CrossFit oh, Games. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, your nominees are 24.1, 24.2, 24.3. <laughs> oh, God. Who's going to be? Who's going to be? They've worked so hard all year for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> My fingers. <laughs> Look at how I opened that. Just ripped <laughs> Just the whole thing. It. Yeah. And our winner is 24.3 with 58% of the vote. 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 24.2 with 29% of the vote is a lowly second. And 24.1, you get the Toilet Bowl Award for this year's Open. Mm, Worst I, workout. I agree with that. 24.3 was true classic CrossFit. I think it had enough separation in it that made it fun in the last five rounds. So this, yeah, I mean, I think I agree with it as well. I... I hated 24.1 for a lot of reasons. If I was doing that 24.1, I yeah. definitely would have hated doing that one the most. But I think this to me indicates that the com the competitive CrossFit community wants to do more hard and high level yep. skills. So it's now the community at large, like, yeah. Or at least maybe, our audience does. Well, that's why I yeah. said competitive. Yeah, yeah. Cause I'm guessing that more of the people that watch TTT's content are that 75 plus percent who are really feeding the sport they're the people that are the media for the sport and i don't think that they want to do the just basic like super low barrier to entry like it's not as uh enjoyable to do yeah. in a sport maybe i don't know i've got an interesting thought on this and i probably won't be able to explain it well in a couple of minutes but i'm gonna try so <laughs> don't make us hit the music <laughs> but you're gonna look good yeah, while you do it. you know the little <laughs> oscar music where they if you go too long oh, oh, they they do it, so, yeah, kick you off and bring security well, out 
you know, just looking at the data we collected every year, we look at the scores, and we also just ran this um, skills test at our camp where it's just very basic CrossFit, really low bottleneck, low barrier to entry. And what we notice is the scores are a little bit worse over the last couple of years on those very basic things like 24.1, but the scores are better when there's high bottleneck, high complexity movements. Part of that, I think, is just because CrossFit over the last four years has really added in heavy barbell loading, um, workouts that require high complex or like the skills of doing muscle ups into toes to rings and other crazy things. And so people have spent a lot of time working on those things, but not just like their sheer endurance. And so the actual like basic endurance in the sport is lower. I could be wrong on this. Just based on the numbers, it looks like it's lower. So people are getting frustrated because they do 24.1 and they think they're really fit, but then they finish like 7,000th on the leaderboard, but then they go and crush 24.2, 24.1. Point three, and they're like, oh, those are better tests. Yeah. So it's just something to think about. Yeah, I mean, I think that the the reality of our sport is that who's ever writing the workouts is dictating how they define fitness. Yeah. And the last couple of years with Boz in it was way more skills. There was a ton of heavy stuff and heavy stuff that was like in quarterfinals, like it was, oh, it's a 275 pound barbell. And like, right. if you can't clean and jerk it, you literally get no reps. So when you put those types of parameters on people to say, this is how we're going to test fitness, it then drives the training to match, to be able to do that. And Castro prior to that was a capacity monster. Like the criticism they got all at the early times of the games was it's too much. It's going to hurt people. It's going to kill people. Glassman came out and said, like, if people die, people could definitely die doing CrossFit and they had the rhabdo thing. And Castro is a military uh, special or uh, Navy SEAL. So I think that, there's going to need to be some clarity at some point to say, hey, oh, we're getting kicked out. What, what's important just in general? Come on. I we, agree. Uh, this is a good hit? conversation. What was the button? Can we what have a podcast on? <laughs> 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 so loud. He blew my eardrums I, to cut me out. I thought that was I a agree. good conversation. That's all yes. I'm can, kidding. We, can, can we do a podcast on this? <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. Seriously. I, if we do, I'm taking this shirt off. Okay, I'm doing yes. my first podcast We don't podcast have to do it right now, but for the audience, I've been crunching the numbers over the last couple of weeks because that informs our the way that we train in our online programs, our individual coaches, and that is something that we're looking at right Wait, now. Wait, what is this topic you wanted to do? Just in general, what happens is the sport shifts to Max's point. Like if the four years in a row, it's all heavy barbells oh, and see. high complexity, yeah. do we change the training? Which we had to. We shifted it that way because of you had to be stronger. You had to be able to do heavy set or big sets of ring muscle ups or handstand walking. But if it goes back to very basic stuff where it is burpees and snatches, then people aren't prepared and yep. they got exposed in that in yep. the open. And the They'll get weaker. Yes. Like I actually, I had a um, conversation on our "How Strong Do You Need to Be in CrossFit" blog with Andrew Hiller about this, and I sent a response because he was saying, "Hold on," he commented on our he blog. commented on our blog saying, <clears throat> "Are you guys concerned or surprised that the one RMs and the snatches haven't moved since?" I think he like there was an article in 2018, 19, somewhere around that time of where the top people needed to be. And the numbers in the snatch and clean and jerk were almost identical to it. And I was saying, I think that still is a marker of progress because all of the other variables have come up up at the same time because Boz came in and did more skills and did all this. But if we start to say, okay, well now quarterfinals is going to be more accessible and more basic workouts and lower things. I actually think the strength standards are going to drop in the sport. I don't think people will be able to, other than the elite elite who are training full time, they're not going to be able to maintain high levels of strength relative to their potential and all of the like VO2 energy system stuff yeah. for the, so you kind of got to know like what you're training for a little bit. You cool. didn't know you're getting that in the award yeah, ceremony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll, Sorry, we'll that he's going to cut that out. For a podcast? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, if yeah, people yeah. want it, comment down Here below. Yeah, if not, 24.3, you get our final best open oh, wait, workout I, announcement. I, I pick uh, 24.2. I don't know what everybody's talking about. That was the best workout hands down. Oh, Why? because you won? You beat Who'd Frank? You? No, did you beat Frank? No, oh, you didn't. No, no, oh, okay. no, no. Frank did pretty well, I think. Yeah, yeah. Were you competing against did, Frank? No. Uh, did he make quarterfinals? Uh, I didn't. I don't know. Yeah, I think he did. Uh, no, it's just the best workout because that was the best one I got. Oh, okay. That I was your you. best place. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Brandon, what would have been the one you would want to do the most? Definitely the first one. Yeah? Yeah, that's <sighs> the easiest one to do for someone that's good at burpees. I think I would have probably most liked 24.3, even though it would have hurt the most. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, you got to go in a dark place for that. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. Thank you for tuning in to our 
2024 first edition <laughs> open announcement awards whatever the hell we're there calling you have this it. <laughs> and uh, if there was any we did have another award where it was supposed to be best fail but no one really sent in anything oh yeah. they're the funniest fail the only submission we got mentioned a couple times which it wasn't you know we were looking for people to send in their videos they just said hey why don't you uh were they nominated uh lex laughing at travis's <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god my first thought was the best fail was the fact that the opening open announcement standard was turn your back to the oh, dumbbell yeah, yeah. and they everyone didn't do started it. right above it yeah. but it wasn't really like hey. and no one would laugh at Pimpin that ain't easy. Yeah, all right boys great job we'll see you next year <laughs>